Have you ever been told you dress like a kid or that you dress like an old man? What does it mean to dress your age? In today's video, gents, I'm going to give you five guidelines on how to dress age appropriate. Tip number one to dressing age appropriate is to ask yourself, how do you want to see yourself? You look at yourself in the mirror daily. You look at yourself in photographs, in videos. How do you want to look for yourself? This one's really important. A lot of people never ask themselves this question. You have to live with yourself. So ask yourself, okay, am I a 70 year old man that feels like he's young, he's 18, starting a new career? So I'm going to dress a little bit younger. I'm going to have a little bit of fun with this. Are you an 18 or maybe 20 year old entrepreneur looking to go into banks to get loans and you want to send a signal of maturity that you're a little bit or your, your age is not an indicator of your experience because you started your first company when you were 12. So it matters. How do you want to see yourself? Tip number two, which I kind of alluded to in tip number one, what message do you want to send? So let's use that example again of that 20 year old kid. He's going into a bank to get a loan and the loan officer is 40 years old. He looks at this 20 year old and he's thinking, okay, this is high risk because when I was his age, he has assumptions based off your age, but he doesn't see that you've been in business for eight years. You started your gaming company when you were 12. You really think you can take this and you can be the next big IPO gaming company. He doesn't see your ambition. What he sees is this kid that looks like he's 16 years old and wondering what happened here. So wear that charcoal gray suit. Gray works and makes you look a little bit older. You look 25 all of a sudden and you're sending the message of maturity. You're dressing as an older man because you want to control the image. But let's say you are 60 years old. You're got, you got out of the banking industry and you want to realize your dream, which is to get up on stage. You're out in Los Angeles or you want to get into the movie industry and you're meeting with people, but you don't want to just get stereotyped and pigeonholed into certain roles. You want to have a chance to play a little bit younger guy. You know that, hey, you know, Tom Cruise is in his 50s. I can play some of those roles. So you start wearing leather jackets. You wear, you find out what are the fashionable jeans. You start wearing a t shirt because you've got a great body. You taking care of yourself, you dye your hair. All of a sudden, you are dressing more as the rebel, as the younger man. So understand that the message you want to send, very important. Understand clothing piece stereotypes. So every piece of clothing has a little bit of a stereotype. It's associated with certain ages, with certain groups of people. A lot of it has been Hollywood, but some of it has been celebrities or kings or history as to what we associate certain pieces of clothing with. Let me just look at the classic suit. Who do we associate it with? We associate it with the businessman. We associate it with a man usually in his mid or peak ages of earning power. Somebody that's wearing a suit we project is successful. This person knows what they're talking about, has authority. That may be completely false, but that is what we associate with that piece of clothing. Let me bring up the leather jacket has a very different feel, right? Leather in general, very strong masculine feel, but it's more for the younger man, the rebel, the guy that's wanting to stand apart from the crowd and show that he's different. Now, there's a number of different items we could talk about. Let's talk about the sports jacket. Again, for the man that's maybe at the mature age, we're talking about age 30 to 40 to 50. Now, the color of clothing can also stereotype it. So, let's look at brighter colors. What do we often associate those with? With sportswear, we're going to see that oftentimes in the younger man demographic. Now, pastels, we're talking pinks, we're talking lavenders, uh, lighter greens and mints. We're going to see this into the older, more mature man area. So, if you want your younger man, you want to bring in a bit of color, but you want to look a little bit older. Well, that's when you would consider some of those pastels. Now, if you want to look younger, you're an older man. Again, you could bring in something bright, maybe something that's got more of a sportier feel, something that just sends a signal of life. Now, let's look at stereotypes in footwear. So, if I say sneakers, I say canvas or leather sneakers, I say Yeezys, I say Jordans, where, where do we associate those? With the younger man. Now, I start to say dress boot. We look at a pair of derbies. We look at white bucks. Where do we associate those? With older men. Understand these associations, these stereotypes, gents, and use them to your advantage. Don't let them be used against you. Tip number four to dressing age appropriate is to actually consider those who are important to you what they interpret and how they see the clothing. Because I've had people reach out to me and they say, Antonio, you know, I like dressing retro. I'm a younger guy. I like dressing a bit older. 
But my wife, she's actually, she's asked me to tone it down because she feels that she has to dress to this level, that it puts her in a tough situation. It was an interesting story because they used to actually dress together in this retro style, but she decided to take a step back. She didn't want to do it, but she felt kind of out of place going out with him as he continued to do it. Now, there are, there are many approaches to go with this. He could just say, you know, heck no, I'm going to continue to do what I want to do. Or he can say, you know what, there are ways to still do this and not make exclude my wife, not make her feel a little bit ostracized. And who, I don't truly know what the issue was, but I am saying be aware that those around you do make, they do have a judgment. Tip number five, understand society has expectations for certain ages. And oftentimes people try to pigeonhole, they try to stick people where they think they should be. The reason I bring this up isn't that you should go with it or that if you're 70, you shouldn't be able to dress young. No, you can dress however you want. I just want you to be aware that there may be some forces going against you. So the three ages I'm going to talk about, young man, we've got the professional man, we've got the mature man. The young man, let's say up to the age of 25, but honestly it can go anywhere, up, higher, lower. At this age, experiment. If you want to try goth, if you want to go really crazy with your style, if you want to you know, imitate Justin Bieber or you know, Ryan Gosling, any of these guys, you do it at this point. You have fun. I've had guys that, you know, they're relatively young. They're wanting to wear, you know, three-piece suits to school, to high school. Go for it. Do, do whatever you want. Experiment at this age because you can. Society allows you. You're not going to get any pushback. You may get a little bit, but it's not going to be as serious as whenever you become the professional. Now, the professional, he starts to care about the image that he's presenting to the world because he realized, hey, I'm building my life at this point and stakes start to matter. He's having to impress people because he wants a mate. He wants someone that he can build his life with. So, you're dressing to attract. You're going out on casual dates. You're putting together smart, great looking outfits. You're going in to get a loan for your business or to get a job. So, you're starting to wear a suit. You're dressing professionally because you go in there and you know that you've got to close these deals to be able to get the income which is going to help you build your life and be able to provide for your family. So, at this point, you are dressing for the professional. Now, once we get to the mature man, this is harvest time. You have put in time, you've put in effort. Some people retire at when they're 50. Other people, they're never going to retire and they may never actually hit this point. But at this point, society does start to look at men in their 60s, in their 70s as mentors, as these guys have been around the block. These are teachers and there's an expectation that they don't dress like boys. Now, I'm not saying that older guys can't dress young. I'm just simply saying be aware that there could be some pushback. All right, gentlemen, so now it's your turn. I want to hear from you down in the comments. How do you dress your age? How do you deal with that question? What do you do for your age that's fun? Dressing your age, it's really just a mindset, but there are certain, you know, kind of parameters and things out there you should be aware of. But guys, at the end of the day, have fun, dress for yourself. It's different types of watches. I cover it in this ebook. You need to go grab it. That's it, gents. Take care. See you in the next video.